GM and welcome to a new video. This is part three of the Monad series and we're gonna take a further look at the testnet. If you have been following along then you have probably seen this video, this was part one and also this video which was part two where I explain how to get Mon, how to set up your fantasy top account on the Monet testnet, how to get even more Mon and other ways to get yeah, enough funds to really work on the testnet. And in today's video, we're gonna cover a lot of other dApps that you can use to get more testnet transactions. Actually, Monet just posted this yesterday. If you've been a power user of testnet, check your wallet for a surprise. And if you have been doing the stuff that I showed you in my videos, then you should have received a lot of mon. I currently have over 20 mon on the main wallet that I'm using to show everything. So make sure to look into your wallets. You might have a lot of test mon in there. What? we want to do today is first we're gonna get a dot net domain i already prepared this you just connect your wallet as with all the wallet services then you click on here it takes some time to fetch now this is lifetime <laughs> on the testnet costs roughly 0.01 mon for the lukemoody.net i'm gonna register this one here sign and here we go register success now i have this in my wallet i can change all of the records here so feel free to go in here and paste all of this because if you save this this is another transaction bio this is luke now i'm gonna click save just to show you this, confirm, sign, and boom, there's another transaction. Yeah, this way you just minted a .NET domain on the testnet. So this was already um, point one, you basically minted an NFT, secured your testnet domain and another transaction for filling out some info. Now. The next thing we want to take a look at is Curvins. Once you connected your wallet to the site, you can click on this notification bell here and then you can see the Monad testnet tasks. And what you can do then is go through here and do those different tasks that all are on-chain activity. You can watch the intro. I don't want to rewatch this right now. It explains what Curvins is, we're gonna click on faucet and then we can see all those different faucets here. We're gonna click on claim all, sign the transaction and then we're gonna get all those different testnet tokens here. USDC, AUSD, AUSD, wrap Bitcoin and so on. Now this should be marked as done. Right now we can deposit assets and if we click on it, we get directed here. For example, we can long BTC. Not sure if that's so clever right now, but hell, let's do it. It's the test net, so it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna deposit 25% of the testnet tokens that we just got and then we're gonna confirm the deposit. Click on confirm. I'm just gonna go through this with all of you so you can follow along step by step. Lots of transactions that you need to sign. This was the success exit deposited and posted successfully. And we can view the transaction as well, but we're gonna close this for now. And we deposited and we collateralized assets as well. Now we want to borrow assets against that. Let's borrow some USDC. And again, I clicked on the borrow assets here on task four. And then I click on borrow here. 
just gonna go through here. Let's go with 50% and continue and then borrow. Let's sign this. I wouldn't advise doing something like this here <laughs> blindly on the main net, but we're just doing this to get some testnet transactions in and it's all testnet tokens, so it doesn't really matter. But of course, this is great to play around with this in a kind of a sandbox where you have the real values of BTC and can play around with that and see how good you are in yeah, longing, shorting and so on, lending, borrowing, how all that works. I now am just gonna go through here to get the task done. So there's no real meaning here. Now we're gonna click on repay. This is the fifth task. And please wait 20 minutes. So I'm gonna continue this one once the time is up. You can also see here the active cooldowns, time left, it's less than 19 minutes left. We're gonna come back to this later. For now, we continue with other tasks. So we don't have to wait. The repay needs some time, but we can land some assets. Now let's land some USDC, maybe 25%, continue, land. And you see those are all transactions on the mainnet. So we are really becoming power users here with this wallet. Remember, you have several wallets. You also have the fantasy wallet that we exported in the first video. So you can do this with several wallets, get transactions in on all of those and qualify with several wallets. We don't know what the qualifications are, but if you're a power user, this might lead to an airdrop. We got a balance of 10 CVE and we can see the lock details here. Let's click on 50%. We're gonna lock 50%. Let's take a look at the other tasks. Unlock, approve, sign. Yet another transaction. We needed to approve the tokens so we can deposit it. Now I'm gonna do the actual lock. This also takes some time now. Five CVE locked successfully. This task is also done. To unlock your tokens, it's kind of confusing because if you click here on unlock and you go here, then you basically just lock other tokens. You need to scroll down here. You can see I locked five CVE and 2.5 for 12 months. I did not have any other options. I could extend and manage. And now I go here, I go with the smaller one, go manage, and then I can click on early unlock. And this is a loss of 1.9982. This is all testnet tokens. We just don't care. So we click sign because this is a task <laughs> that they give us. We wait for the confirmation. Here we go. And this task is also done. For the withdrawal, we also need to wait until the timer is up. So this is also something that you need to wait on. But once the timer is done, then you can repay and withdraw. We're gonna do this later in the video. In the meantime, we can take a look at Zaros Finance. And here you can just sign up by connecting your wallet. This is yet another trading platform. What we can do here is mint 100,000 USDC. Sounds great, right? So it works, just take some time. So click sign and confirm. And then we minted 100,000 USDC successfully. Yeah, I confirmed this twice, so all good. We have a lot of money. It's only testnet money, but okay. Now we click on create accounts. And let's deposit 75% because maybe we can use the USDC for other platforms. Now let's approve this. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of transactions in within a couple of minutes. 
it's all a bit slow right now. Just give it some time. It really has some delay. Now we can close this. Wait a second. They want us to add a custom token to Rabi wallet right now. This platform is super slow, to be honest, but um, yeah, we'll take it. You can go here on the top, click on trade, and then this is BTC USD. So you have different options here. You can place orders. Confirm. Let's do this. All right, just placed an order. Now we click on Dragon Festival New. And what you can do is then do a daily check-in, get some rewards. So if you want to be active here, as I said, the platform is super slow, but now the check-in was successful. I can log in again. You can collect cards and get rewards here. This also is something that you can do you can also do the weekly check in here. Mona testnet is currently congested. Please try placing your order again in a few minutes. Okay, so the placing the order didn't work right now, but I guess you see what can be done. So weekly check in here and also the daily check in here. You can win some prizes. And that's basically another platform where you can then trade if the network is not congested. As you can see, we're back at Curvins, and as you can also see, there's no active cooldowns anymore. So we can go through the last task. We want to repay and we can do this with the USDC. Let's repay 50%. We need to approve, sign and confirm. Success, we can continue and then click repay. This also takes a little bit of time. Here we go. Sign the transaction, confirm. There seems to be a lot going on on the Monad testnet right now. Now this was a success. We can close this. Now there's only one open task left. We can click withdraw and we get directed to the wrapped BTC. Let's click on 50% or let's just repay 25% withdraw sorry not repay we click sign confirm boom here we go now we have the feedback form you can go through here you can get more bytes, you got 100 bytes, which is their point system basically for Curvins. They are active on other chains as well. So feel free to go through this questionnaire here to get some more points from them. I won't go through this now, but this is something that you can definitely do because you finished all the testnet tasks that they currently have. Now we covered a lot of stuff in this video. We got a monad testnet domain we did all the tasks on curvins got a lot of transactions in because of that got a lot of different testnet tokens same for zeros and there's lots of other platforms left that we're gonna take a look at and feel free to leave some feedback on which platforms or different things i should take a look at in this monad testnet series and make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of the upcoming Monet testnet videos. Also, I got the abstract series on my channel with weekly updates. There's a new video coming tomorrow. So make sure to check that one out as well. And that all being said, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.